This is Code HS, HTML Structuring Websites, which is uh, Unit 2 in the Web Design Curriculum. Uh, this is Lesson 4, Links. So I'm going to jump in again with a, a little bit about the A tag, which um, I should know the answer to this, but I do not. Uh, when the powers that be were creating HTML, this is the one tag that I... Uh, uh, I'm sure there's a valid reason why they made it the A tag, but so many other tags in HTML make perfect sense, like H1, heading 1, HTML, duh, you know, a P tag for a paragraph, um, you know, a B ta tag for bold. Eventually we'll learn about lists and how they work. And here we have a A tag that stands for hyperlink. Um, nonetheless, um, again, I suggest you watch the video, the slideshow as you go through. But um, this is how we make a link on a web page. So we have the opening part of our A tag, and then all right, we have an attribute inside called href. Okay, that's a, H, that's a reference to another page. Um, and then within that, we have equals, and then we have open quote, and then the actual web link, close quote, close the opening tag, but then whatever we want to be the link is then typed in, and then we close the A tag. So this whole thing is what is making example.com serve as a link, okay? There's also more we can do with links, uh, whether or not we want them to open on the same browser tab or open in a new tab. Uh, we'll probably get into that later, um, but you could also add an attribute called target and that tells it where to open. Um, but for now, just to uh, kind of see how it works, we see it again with Wikipedia. Um, we have again a tag and href. So for every link you do, it's going to be opening a href equals and then inside quotes will be the actual URL or the link close that opening tag, okay, or just kind of finalize it, put whatever you want to serve as the link, and then the actual backslash A, okay? All right, so we have an exercise, so we're going to practice making hyperlinks. Uh, so the given web page has a list of links that are supposed to point to important parts of the CodeHS website. Point is just jargon for send you there. Um, the problem is the links don't reference an actual web page. Clicking them does nothing. Add a value to the href attribute in each of the a tags. All right, the first, so we're going to need this um, if you're going through copying and pasting. I probably have this one done already. Um, I can go back. Um, but the first should take you to codehs.com, next to the sandbox, next to my courses. Then it wants you to test your page to make sure it works. Okay, hint, it's much easier to add attributes to HTML tags by switching to code view instead of block view. Uh, I don't even play around with code view. With HTML, it's so much easier to do text. So this one is already done. Um, I'll kind of go back through the history, and I'll start over from scratch um, just to walk through those steps I do think early on. Um, okay, so we're going to be in our starter code. So... This is where everybody else is, so, okay. So right now, if I try to click on those, they don't do anything. Firefox can't open the page. Okay, so, um, and that redid it there. So Code HS sometimes is kind of funky. Um, we're not saying it can't open the page anyway. Um, okay, so let me refresh. And for some reason, my code did save, so HTTPS, codehs.com. Okay, oh, it's, okay, never mind. Uh, it's doing this. I was hoping to get rid of that, and I don't know why it didn't save my starter code. Um, this is often what's going to start to happen um, as we've advanced with web technology. Uh, you have the ability to say you don't want your site to open up within another site. Ironically, CodeHS has done this um, so that other people can't embed their site, but in doing so, they made this lesson hard to do. 
Um, so you can see this, but if you actually were to go to a main part of their page, when you get this, if you're getting this error, it's not a mistake. If you click open site and new window, then it sends you to my courses. Um, if you click on the main page for Code Ages homepage and you go open a new, um, that's my landing page. So it's going to be different. But anyway, you're going to get this probably every time. Uh, that's not an error as long as you click open site and new window and it actually opens the site. Um, you should be good to go. Okay, so for the first one, all we're doing is just putting the URL inside the quotes. Second one, put the URL inside the quotes. Third one, I do have a space there, probably don't need, but put the URL inside the quotes. Um, again, a href equals put your actual link inside the quotes, do your greater than sign. So all of this is part of the opening a tag. Okay, so it's got an attribute and a value um, is the terminology we'd use. So the href, so the A is the element, href is the attribute, and then https colon slash slash codehs.com. That is what we would call the value. Okay, and each one has that. So we're going to submit and continue. All right, we have another exercise. So this one wants us to link to different sites. So create three A tags linking to three online encyclopedias. I don't even know if these still work anymore, but this would be an example of how you would do it. Um, now notice this example that I have uh, is not using uh, paragraph tags. So if I wanted these to be separated, I could do break tags in between. Or I can make each one a paragraph but by adding those break tags, um, now they're stacked. It looks a little bit better, okay? But again, just got our links. So again, a element, href attribute, and then the actual URL is our value. And then what happens in between the opening a tag and the closing a tag, those actual words is what appears on the page as the link. Okay, that finishes lesson four.